Hi, chapter number five talks about querying GIS data. <clears throat> In this particular exercise, we're going to look at how to perform attribute queries. There's going to be one exercise de dedicated solely towards all the different types of attribute queries. You can query attributes both in numerical and categorical or nominal data, and we'll look at, look at the different ways, the dimensions in which these data can be used. We can see here we have GIS data for the entire United States. This is just general census data here. And we can look at the 51 polygons that we have here. This includes the 50 states, and it also includes Washington, D.C. here. We've got FIPS codes, names, populations, all of these different things here that we're looking at. But in order to perform an attribute query, and we can sort these and grab these, and it's fairly easy to do something like this on 50, but imagine doing it for thousands or a couple hundred thousand or however many records that we're working with. There are about 3,000 counties in the entire United States, so it would be hard to run a query or sort and grab these things the way that we want to here. Because if you noticed here, we can just grab the counties right here and highlight these based on a particular attribute, and they'll be highlighted in our table, but it's going to be difficult once these data sets get a little bit larger. Larger. But what I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at the POP 2003, and I'm going to try to find, uh, I'm going to perform a couple of numerical queries on these. In order to do this, I'm going to go to Selection, and select by Attributes. And you can see here I have an attribute, ca uh, attribute dialog that comes up. You can see here the layer is going to be State LD. This is what I call low, uh, um, low display here. Uh, the method is going to be Create a New Selection. You can see add to current selection, remove from current selection, or select from current selection. Select from current selection means that it's only going to pick from the things that are already selected, that are things that are highlighted in blue. So if there's nothing in blue, and you say to pick from everything that's been highlighted, it'll select nothing, even though it may satisfy a particular query. But what I'm going to look at here is POP 2003. Yeah. And I can double click on POP 2003. And in previous exercises, we saw that if it's in brackets here, that means that it's, we're talking about an attribute field. I have some buttons up here that I can click on. I'll click on the less than sign. And I'm going to just type in 1 million from my keypad. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't have commas. I can't put commas in there. We're working with numerical data here. You can see here. What this attribute query builder does is builds an SQL query. Select star from state ID where POP2003 is less than 1 million. And I can click on the verify button that tells me the selection was successfully verified. Say I were to put commas right here. I would click on verify and it would tell me that it gives me an expression error. It won't be able to run. And I can make sure I have create a new selection highlight it and when I click apply and OK you can see these are all of the states right here Alaska Montana Wyoming North and South Dakota DC which is part of count, counts as a state here Delaware and Vermont these are all of the states that have a population of less than 1 million I can open up my attribute table and I can see all of them here if I want to single that out even more I can click on so, show selected records down here and these will only show these records here, and I can perform the same operations that I've done before. I can sort ascending or sort descending and see which is the most or the least of all of these here. So this is the most basic of the queries right here. Now I want to perform a compound query where I want to find all states whose population is, say, between 5 million and 10 million people. So it's got to satisfy both of these at the same time. So once again, we're going to do select by attributes. We're going to get rid of this. Uh, we're going to get rid of this uh, previous selection here. I'm going to do POP2003 is greater than 5 million. And in the exercises, it also talks about AND. So it has to satisfy both of these at the same time. And I'm going to click AND. POP2003 is less than 10 million. Okay, so you can see POP2003 is greater than 5 million and POP2003 is less than 10 million. I think I need another zero here. Okay. Computers are stupid, like I've said before, so you have to specify exactly what field needs to be less than 10 million. Okay, I can click on verify right here, and you can see that the expression was successfully verified. Up in the method, make sure you click on create a new selection. I'm going to click Apply. 
Okay, and now you can see these are all of the states whose population is between zero million, uh, 5 million and 10 million here. I can look at the POP 2003 column right here and you can see all of them here. Okay, Georgia, New Jersey, North Carolina, Virginia, all of these. Quick question, what if I were to select the word or instead of and right here? Put or, verify, it's going to say it's okay. Any ideas? Let me click apply. They're all highlighted. So you can think of any state. Any state is going to have more than 5 million or less than 10 million. Okay, or means it only has to satisfy one of these criteria. When we click on and, it has to satisfy both of the criteria. So it has to be both greater than 5 million and also less than 10 million at the same time. So a lot of times people will run these queries and perform these logical errors. That means the software will still run and give you output, but it logically won't be correct, won't, won't be correct and won't make sense. Okay? Last thing we're going to look at is name queries, okay? Querying nominal data. One of the things we can look at is use the like command. Okay? If I want to find something here like state name, like, I want to pick out Alabama, I can click on the verify and it'll highlight it right here. This time what I want to do is I want to find all states who start with the letter M. And we talked about the wild card and the book talks about the wild card. So I can highlight like M and we need to put it in quotes because now we're doing string comparisons as opposed to numerical um, comparisons. And I'm going to click the wild card button right here. It's this asterisk and then I'm going to end it with a quote. So all this means is right here, M star means, all it means is that it starts with an M. It doesn't care what's after the M. All it does is have to start with a capital M. I can click apply right here and you can see what it's given me. If I open up my attribute table, it's given me all the states, all eight of the states that start with the letter M. All that means is that it starts with the letter M. It doesn't care what's after. I can even do it backwards too. I can do something like star A. What do you think this is going to do? This is going to find all states who end in the letter A. I'm going to click apply right here. Uh, these are all the states that end in the letter A. California, Florida, all 22 of the states here. Now let's perform real quickly some sort of compound query. Now of all the states who end in the letter A, I want to find just these highlighted ones. I want to find those whose population is greater than 10 million. So now I've highlighted these already. Okay, you can see Alaska and these other 21 states right here. So now I'm going to click on here. Instead of create a new selection, I'm going to do select from current selection. And I'm going to look for population 2003 is greater than 10 million. 10. I'm going to click on verify. Okay, so select from current selection means that it's going to pick from the things that are highlighted in blue. So we know states like Texas and New York have populations greater than 10 million, but they shouldn't be highlighted when we perform this query because they don't end in the letter A. Our first qualification is that it has to end in the letter A. Now when I click apply right here, here we go. We only have three states. We have California, Florida, and Pennsylvania. These end in the letter A and also have populations greater than 10 million. And I did this using the select from current selection method.